All right, Saturday morning. Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Oh, it's dark, it's gonna rain today. Maybe if I just drive, it'll, whoa, not reverse. Whoa, I need coffee, y'all. I feel so bad I'm not bringing Easton with me because I'm just getting coffee, I'm not going anywhere. And I feel kind of weird bringing him places now. I feel weird bringing him into places now since this whole virus thing. So, uh, just gonna run and get some coffee really quick. Lord knows I need it. Let me just get over these speed bumps and y'all will see something else besides my zitted up chin. It's supposed to rain around nine. So I figured perfect day for a vlog. I promised y'all that I would do that contact paper on our countertops and show you how we do it and perfect day for it because it's supposed to rain because it's supposed to rain so we can get coffee first I'll make this like a vlog just maybe I'll do a little bit of cleaning I gotta organize Easton's room because I got him this big ass castle with like a I don't know, it's like a ball pit, and there's like, I don't know, just a fun little thing for him. And it's big, was not expecting it to take up half his room, literally. So I need to do some reorganizing with his room, or just put that in our living room, or so I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, let's stop babbling. If y'all want to get some coffee with me and just spend the day with us, keep on watching. of a line. It's my turn. It's my turn. Good morning. Can we get started for you? Uh, may I please get a large uh, white mocha? How many shots would you like in it? Uh, three, please. Three any whipped cream? Uh, yes, please. Okay. And also a medium iced white mocha with peppermint. And how many shots in that? I'll do two. Um, I really want a pastry, but I'll just do the coffees. <laughs> that's it. Sorry. That was it. Yeah. Sorry. That's it. Okay. We'll see you up here. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I hate when I think out loud. Like it's like okay, I want a pastry. My fat ass wants pastry so much. Mm, okay, not gonna do it. She didn't, she didn't think that was too funny. <laughs> these zits on my chin, I have like three, and it's from these damn masks, because at work I have to wear a mask. I brought mine just in case. I don't like wearing the masks, but I do like that stuff is opening up. I'm sorry if I'm dark, I'm gonna try fixing it whenever I edit this video. Makes me look extra freaking ratchet today. Ooh, I hate this turn! Oh look, I'm riding with Casper. Hey Casper. Sorry, this is gonna be a stupid vlog. I can already tell, but you know, I didn't post a video last week, so I'm posting this one and I don't care. My OGs are the only ones that watch my shit anyways. I'm so excited for this. Perfect, perfect. I really should be going to Safeway to get some I'll just see y'all when I get home because if not, it's gonna be one boring vlog of me talking. All right, Easton's being a major pill, if I do say so myself, huh? 
because he won't sleep. So I'm just gonna kind of pick up the house. It's not gonna be a full on clean the damn thing with me, but just a little motivation in the vlog for some of y'all who like my cleaning videos. And then we'll get going with his room after I'm done picking up the living room. Here he is living his best life. Yeah, getting you on camera. He hates the camera. Okay, this is what we're dealing with, and he's still not asleep, and he's in a bad mood, which makes me in a bad mood. Crib is right here. The door doesn't even open all the way. <laughs> like, I, this is a last minute type of thing, and it's obviously a fixable thing. Okay, anyway, so the ball pants there, and it goes all the way over there across the room, and then there's his dress, and everything is just a mess. And then we're probably gonna get rid of some of this stuff over here, and it's just a mess we get rid of that because he's kind of too big for it and it's a ball pit like that so he doesn't need two of the same so let's just see what we can do with this yeah there's trash and hairbrushes or hairbrushes makeup brush right there he's just a mess huh beast change my shirt because i'm sweating so here we are over there. Let's put it outside or out of the room for a second. Okay, so this can go out there for a second. What do you think? Should we put it right here? What? The that? Yeah, because I don't like yeah. the way his crib. I don't like it, anything well, right now. I'm thinking the crib can go over there, right? And then the, the dresser goes where his thing is right here. So it kind of that, and that, so that way you can use this whole thing right here for the 
Wait, so the crib goes right here? Yeah. And this dresser goes on this side, so that way, uh, you yeah, know, there's room. Okay, that's a good idea. Look at my fat ass. <laughs> okay. So the plan was to do this when Easton was sleeping and obviously you see it's not working out because um, Easton won't freaking sleep, took a half hour nap, but that's obviously not enough for him because he's not being very nice today, like I said. I guess we should have vacuumed before we did this. Go ahead and go. Okay. Cleaning with a toddler. Oh, what fun it is. because y'all have no idea how the day is going. I am losing my patience, if you can't tell. I'm just gonna tidy up the room again because he... That is what I've been hearing all day because he will not go to freaking sleep. Anyways, I'm just gonna tidy up the room again really quick because he... done and now we'll get to the countertops. So Jeff just got done cleaning the stove and just cleaning the little things that go on top of the burners and I'm gonna start taking these everything off the counter and put it to the other side so we can start with our little whatchamacallit contact paper. I love that crap don't judge me. Oh and it's the next day by the way because yesterday just wasn't a good day for Easton. He was a butthole weren't you? Yesterday just wasn't a good day. So we decided to do the paper today instead of yesterday. It's definitely a better day for all of us. Dead end. What you want to do at first is clean the countertops very well, make sure they're fully dry after you clean, and then we'll get going with the paper. I'm just going to take a paper towel and just wipe down the excess moisture and we have pets so there's like hair in the air so you got to make sure all that's off or else you're going to have like little raises in your paper. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to be using this paper. Marble House Best Gift Deals Shop. No idea, y'all. Just got it on Amazon. Just search for marble contact paper and you'll find your stuff. This had the best reviews. So this is why we got this one. And obviously we got this one as well because it matches the other side. The other one that we got for the other side was out of stock. So I just found something similar and this is the exact same thing, just a different um, brand. I know the dishes are in the sink, but we ran out of room in the dishwasher, so so don't judge the dirty dishes, please. So basically what he's doing is he's just measuring at first, so on the back it shows measurements. So he's just measuring how much we need for this section. Last time we used like a credit card to smooth it down, mm, it didn't work out too well. So he got this microfiber cloth and you'll see. And this is not an easy fast thing, it's, it's hard. So you're probably gonna say a few F words in the process, but it works out. I already know he's getting frustrated when he huffs and puffs. <laughs> okay, so he ended up cutting literally this much off the previous one because you don't want any extra paper that you know you can't cut when you're smoothing it down because it's just going to make the situation harder. We have relined. So what he's doing is he's just smoothing it down with this cloth. I know that sounds funny, but it works for him and it worked out great on the other side doing that. So do what you think is best. And yeah, you just smooth it down and then that piece right there we will cut with a blade. So make sure you have a blade. He's just smoothing and definitely take the, the contact paper off the actual paper on the back as you go. Don't take it off all at once. Alright, so the first piece is on, and now he's just going to take the blade to cut the remaining pieces. Because it ain't going to look like that the whole time. And there is the finished look for that side. counter that's showing on the side, don't fold it over. That's going to be a separate thing for that part, so just stay tuned for that. Alright, so he's just using the excess paper that he cut off from that part and he's just putting this on the side and then he'll cut off any excess after it's stuck. Y'all get the gist. I'm not gonna include this little section right here. You get the gist. I just wanted to show you how we did that instead of folding it over because it would look bad if it was folded over. So uh, that's how we did that and we'll do the same thing for this little mark. So really quick, I just wanted to show you because if you have a bigger counter like this side, I know there's a lot of stuff on here because obviously we're doing the other counter right now. I'm going to talk fast, battery's dying. You're going to start this way and not this way. We started this way last time with this side and we had to include little pieces like this to cover up missing spots. So if you don't mind those, you can do it that way, but I just found it easier after we got the hang of it. This way instead of this way, because you'll get more product going this way as opposed to filling in these little marks. You'll end up having to have the little mark right here. But with this kind of paper, the marble type of paper, you can't really tell that that's there. So, and then you just add it along here and then you just cut it out with a blade like we did. So it's pretty cool, pretty DIY if you ask me. Spices up the kitchen when you don't own your home. 
So I think I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. I know this is kind of a long one. I mean, I don't know. It might not be, but I feel like it's gonna be long. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope if you were looking into doing your counters like this, I hope this video kind of helped you with some ideas on what to do and what not to do. If it did, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video overall, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and I hope to see y'all in my next one. Bye. Send nudes. Wow.